Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing an all signs read predictions coming up for the rest of the year. I'll say for the rest of the year I was aiming for June, but to be honest with you, this stuff could manifest during the rest of the year because it's not really it's not really a thing about when. It's more like how that I'm going to be looking at. So, say a little quick prayer. Spirit, I do ask that you bring me clear and accurate messages for each zodiac sign, things that can help the collective. Thank you for your guidance, and I am grateful. All right, let's get started with Aries. Look at some predictions for you. What's coming in for Aries? Aries, I'm seeing if you are involved with someone. Okay, Aries, if you're involved with someone, I see a conversation happening where you might stand up for yourself and possibly detach. I say that because you have important conversations, self-worth, speak your truth, and karmic partner. Karmic partner and self-worth being here, I feel like you might be settling for someone that doesn't really value you or you might not see a future with. Speak Your Truth is asking you to be honest with yourself about the situation. Um, so if you've been with a karmic partner or you've been settling for less than what you think you deserve, I feel like a conversation is going to happen around that situation. And I have separation at the bottom of the deck with what I just said. So that's one message for you, Aries. Anything else for Aries? What else is coming up for Aries? Meaningful coincidences, fear and anxiety, soulmate and good luck. So I feel like you might be attracting a soulmate with meaningful coincidences. It's like things are lining up for you. Fear and anxiety tells me you might be, you might have some lingering emotions from a past connection that are not letting you move openly into this one. Meaningful coincidences, you're going to be probably seeing synchronicity. So look for numbers, look for, well, don't look for it. They'll kind of appear in your face. You're going to probably start seeing a lot of that coming up with meaningful coincidences. Um, good luck. You got a lot of good things coming to you, especially with the soulmate attached. How you know you've met this person is kind of like an instant connection on an intellectual level more than physical. I mean, there might be a very physical attraction here because there always is probably with soulmates that are romantic. But what I'm feeling more is like you're going to click with someone on a more mental space versus what you could have been leaving. So singles or people who are just getting out of a relationship, I do see you finding someone else. What else is coming up for Aries? Healthy boundaries wanted to flip over. Destined, inner healing, manifest, and self-love. I feel like there's a period for a lot of you Aries where um, you're being called to just be by yourself for a little bit. Um, especially if you're just getting out of a relationship with a karmic partner. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Is that in, in here? Speak your true self-worth. Karmic partner. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Um, if you find yourself in a solitary energy, that is on purpose. That is spirit preparing you for something way better. With self-love being there, it's saying that um, don't settle. Manifest and self-love. Don't settle for things that you don't actually want. Kind of feel like I'm talking to an Aries that has uh, maybe a tendency of people pleasing. And that's not typical for Aries. I don't, I don't feel it being a typical trait for Aries. So this might be very, um, very much not every, not everyone. But I am getting that with this. A lot of healing. Don't settle. You have something really good coming in for you. Let me get three cards for this. Right. Don't settle. Pretty much. See? The Hierophant. Seven of Wands, which is boundaries. And the Nine of Cups. This is basically saying don't settle. You're manifesting like long-term commitment. Do not settle. Draw your boundaries. I just wanted to make sure that that's all the message that this had. And it, it is. It is. So let's pull from the What's the T deck for you. What's coming up for Aries? You know what? I'll do this shuffle here, even though these are slippery cards and I might send them flying. Let me get four cards. What does Aries have coming up the next few months? Okay. Wow. Aries, you got a lot of things coming. You got a lot of success coming to you and money. Uh, for those of you in social media, I see you getting a lot of recognition. Uh, some of you could come in to like sudden wealth with jackpot. There's a lot of sudden wealth being here. Too busy winning, be doing really good in your career, and then an offer and wasting time. So be careful that this is not that karmic partner from the past trying to get back with you. If you do have a karmic partner, I know not all Aries are in a dating scene. But I am speaking to one who is in the dating scene. So it's like this person is going to see you doing good and then they're going to want to come back in. Be careful that it's not for money. That's not for everyone. But I do see your money doing really good. Okay. Let me get my life together. What else do we have for Aries? Let's try the Kipper. Anything for Aries. So I see after a period of possible sadness, I see your money doing really good, success in love and work. But sad news is at the beginning of lots of money. Some of you guys could be receiving an inheritance or get money by um, something that doesn't feel great with sad news being attached to that. So for some of you, that could be like maybe an inheritance of some kind. Yeah. But you have this and success in love and occupation. So for some of you, you're going to be looking for, if you're not employed right now, I see you working on something that is passionate to you. And for those of you who love your job, I see you loving your job even more. There's like a lot of success there. Uh, some of you can meet someone that you can work with and live with on that kind of you know, 
partnership type of relationship. A really good partnership could be coming up after a period of sadness. So that's what I have for you, Aries. My card's back. I'm going to start here with Taurus. Okay, Taurus, what do we have for you? What's coming up for Taurus? Okay, Taurus, for whatever reason, I have a one card that is flipped upside down. I mean, uh, you know, the other way around. I don't have any other cards like that. So I'm taking this as a message for you. Dark night of the soul. So you could be going through something that is very painful, maybe a breakup or some kind of detachment from someone who was close to you with that card there for you, Taurus. So that's the first thing I'm going to say. But dark night of the soul is more like a period where you get to reflect on the shit that you've been doing that stops yourself. Like say, for example, you end up being in crappy relationships with people. Dark night of the soul is that time where you kind of say, oh my God, what am I doing to attract such losers? And then and then when you start looking within and seeing what is it about you that attracts such trash, that's when you get to see it. And, it's, and it sucks because it's not like you're trash or anything. It's more, like, it's more like realizing the things that you do to yourself that stop you from attracting better people. So that's kind of like what the dark night of the soul is. Speak your truth at the top here. That's kind of like what it is. It's like the realization that you have a lot more control over everything in your life, a lot more than you think. And it's kind of disheartening at first. Because it just, it just, it's a period where you kind of see where other people have been placing their views in front of you and you've been seeing through their crappy filter, you know? So anyways, what's going on for Taurus? You could be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities with codependent, spring, new perspective. Um, some of you guys could be maybe struggling with some codependency issues. Maybe if, uh, what does that kind of mean? If you don't like being by yourself, if you feel like you need entertainment, if you feel bored, if you feel like you need someone else, that's codependency. You shouldn't be bored by yourself. If you're bored by yourself, why would I want to hang out with you? You're boring. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? If you're boring by yourself, you think anyone else is going to want to hang out with you? No. Who's going to want to hang out with you? Somebody who's boring too. So I'm not saying you're boring. I'm just giving you an example of what that codependent energy feels like. So it could be that either you feel that way or somebody else feels that way towards you. Um, I kind of feel like it could be somebody coming towards you. It says spring, and I know we're not officially in summer yet, so this could be happening right now. Somebody could be to coming towards you trying to change your mind about stuff with these cards here. Meaningful coincidences, I feel like those are red flags. You will get to see it. You will get to see it. New perspective and me meaningful coincidences. It's like I'm seeing things different now. You might be seeing some codependency coming from someone and start realizing it's not healthy. So I do see that. What else is coming up for Taurus? Days and confused, healing old wounds, slow and steady, and epiphany. You could have been in a bad relationship. You could have been in a relationship um, where with days and confused and healing old wounds, along with what I saw earlier before, it could be that you could be seeing some codependency traits in yourself 
or you could be realizing what traits in yourself attracted a codependent person. So there's a lot of reflection on that. I feel like with slow and steady and epiphany, just realizing that it takes, it, it might be better to take your time in, in romantic connections. Some of you guys could be go, getting over a breakup. With epiphany, slow and steady and epiphany, it's, it's, it doesn't feel like an epiphany. An epiphany is fast. This is giving me the vibes of slowly coming to realize your worth. So I feel like that's going to happen. You're gonna, your confidence is going to slow and steady build up this summer and for the rest of the year. That's really good. Really good. Something else for Taurus. Go ahead. Let me get another message for Taurus. Financial loss, past life relationship, speak your truth, and end of a cycle. With past life relationship, I'm not really getting too much past life. More like past... Recent past is what I'm getting. Financial loss. Financial loss. Past life relationships. Speak your truth and end of a cycle. I feel like you could be dealing with somebody or could have dealt with somebody with past life. It could be an ex going through some financial, sh financial hardship. There could be some jealousy aimed at you with speak your truth. I feel like this person might express some jealous tendencies, but it's... I don't see it bothering you. I don't see you caring with end of a cycle being at the end. Let me clarify this real quick. Speaker, truth, and end of a cycle. Jesus Christ. Look at that. See, speak your truth, end of a cycle. It's like you're leaving end of a cycle literally things are changing in your favor with the devil being there it's like that i feel is that past relationship and financial loss i feel like things are changing for you for the better even though the devil's here when things change for you it's like people like this pop up but it is the end of a cycle and it's saying to stand up for yourself and what you believe in uh, make sure that nobody from your past is taking any advantage of you or trying to ask you for money or anything like that I don't feel like you're going to struggle too much in money, even though you're showing up with the financial loss card. I feel like this is more uh, tied to a past person in your life who is going to be struggling and want help. I wouldn't offer it with these cards. All right, we're going to go to the What's the Tea deck for you. It's coming up for Taurus. You could be dealing with somebody who's going to be talking shit about you pretty much. With player and creeping, it could be somebody from your past who still has their eye on you. Um, they might be talking smack about you. If you have kids, they could be bad talking how, how you parent with these two cards. But it's definitely someone that will do and say shit just for attention. Clout hungry says anything, does anything, makes shit up and dramatic. Child services, kids at risk being taken or is about to reporting something, neglect or, or abuse. So they could be talking about you as a parent or they could be a shitty parent. 
you would know. I wouldn't. I don't know. You're going to know who this is, Taurus. But there is somebody who still watches you. Probably played a lot of games with the player card there. What else is coming up for Taurus? I have to make sure this microphone is still on because the other day when I was recording, it didn't turn on and I did this whole really, really good reading. I was pretty mad. Some of you guys are about to meet your person. I see a lot of money coming to you. You could be meeting someone with actual potential. This person could have kids. You and this person in the future can have a, a child together also. If that's something you're interested in, obviously, if you don't want any kids and you're going to be strapping it up or locking it down, well, then this isn't for you. Um, and if you're celibate or if you're not having any kind of relations with anyone or don't plan to, well, this is probably not for you either. But I do see a possibility of a lot of you Tauruses finding a person um, when you're doing really well with money. This person comes in as a main male. It doesn't have to be a man. Um, I am seeing a male and a female. So that just means like a perfect balance. That just means another, like your other half, even though we're not half people. Um, I do see this person being a giver. So you can expect that. This is definitely coming in very soon. That is your messages, Taurus. So check for Aries, check for Taurus. And we're going to start with Gemini. All right, Gemini, what is coming up for you? All right, Gemini, a lot of you guys could be going through a solitary period, hidden emotions, dark night of the soul, inner strength and positive change. I feel like you're coming out of a period of hermit mode. Um, and it, inner strength and positive change, I feel like it's very difficult to get out of this dark night of the soul, which it usually is. Um, you could be working through a lot of stuff or you could be getting you could have been working through a lot of stuff and you're getting out of it now. It's a lot of positive changes here for you. So that's really good. Hidden emotions kind of tells me that you're not in a place where you feel like you could have expressed yourself. That's changing. You're getting inner strength to change that. Spiritual awakening, divine feminine, autumn and financial loss. Be careful with your money. I feel like there could be people around you wanting money, um, especially in the autumn coming up here. That is that is coming out strong with that card here. I usually don't get timing cards like that, but there you go. Spiritual awakening, divine feminine. I feel like you're coming into your own skin. You're growing into your own power. You're realizing that you have a lot more to offer the world that you're in charge of your life. Be careful with money. Some of you guys can be losing a job or, or something like that with financial loss. I want to clarify that. Autumn and financial loss.
well, I'm not going to shuffle the cards good doing that. So. <laughs> This doesn't have to be someone attached to you, or I mean, it doesn't have to be you. It could be someone attached to you, it could be somebody new that you end up talking to or being with or something like that. I kind of feel this, if you're, if you're jumping into any new business ventures, just be careful. Make sure you go through everything with this energy here. Um, and if you're dating someone new who's going through something, maybe they're the ones attached to you um, losing money, something along those lines. So make sure you watch your finances. No, I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm telling you what to do, do whatever you want. It's just what the cards are saying. So all right. What else for Gemini? Mirroring, temptation, chaser, karmic partner. All right. So you might have someone who feels, <laughs> you might meet someone who is like really dead set on trying to be with you. Now, this could be someone you already know. This could be a new person. I feel like it's a new person with mirroring and temptation. I kind of feel like this person's going to come in and just be such a breath of fresh air. Chaser and karmic partner, be careful that this doesn't get toxic. Um, if you're not interested and this person starts to chase you anyways, it's more like a game for them with karmic partner. Just be careful with that energy. Um, uh, that's what I'm kind of seeing. So for those of you being chased by someone, who really wants to be with you, just be careful. I do get the par karmic partner coming out. I want to clarify that too. I do. What is this karmic partner here for? Yeah, it could be somebody with a lot of options. It could be somebody very attracted to you, but there is an illusion here. There is some kind of illusion there. So there you go, Gemini. Let's see what's coming up for you in the What's the Tea deck. You might have a lot of jealous people around you with girl fight. I don't feel like you care. I feel like a lot of people are watching you. A lot of people who feel like they can't progress in their life and it's your fault for some reason. Fake accounts, girl fight, wasting time. This is all energy coming towards you. And I feel like this is you. Unfazed. So you could have, you could have an issue with a woman, with girl fight doesn't have to be a woman, but I, I feel strongly it does talk about a girl fight. And if it's, and if you're a guy, then this is kind of like petty fighting, petty arguments. Fake accounts is people trying to find out what you're up to and wasting time, stuck, changes, limited, no changes. Don't waste your time on other people trying, trying to see if they change. It's kind of what that's telling me. Just, you got to keep it moving. What else is coming up for Gemini?
Some of you guys could be working from home. I see that being very successful. Others of you, if you're going through anything legal, I've seen that turning in your favor. Please don't take anything I say as medical advice. Speak to your professionals about that. But if you do have any legal matters, I see that turning in your favor with legal, legal matters and a gift. Like I said, some of you guys are doing really well in a home business if you have one. Others of you could be looking to move. Let me get one more for living room. A pleasant letter. Yeah, communication. There's communication here about either a move or working from home, some kind of a venture that way. I see it working out for you. With legal matters being here, there might be some things that you need to watch out for. So make sure you keep an eye on any contracts coming your way, anything you need to sign. Um, legal matters and the gift. If you guys... <laughs> If you guys are looking like maybe marriage wise, um, legal matters and the gift, you could be asked to sign a prenup with that energy, to be honest. Um, I'm not saying don't sign it, I'm saying do whatever you want. That could be something that comes up. For others of you, this is a little different. This is you receiving money you didn't know you had. This is you receiving money you didn't know you had coming to you. So that's what I get for you, Gemini. Let me go ahead and relight this um, incense real quick. No! Don't fall. All right, back in business. Moving on to Cancer. Predictions for Cancer. Whoa, whoa. You might get approached by somebody um, trying to fix things with you with mirroring, but I, I don't feel like it's something that will benefit you with closure and past life relationship. I kind of feel like there's something coming in for you to give closure to. So um, that's what I feel heavy with this closure with the past relationship coming in for you. Keep the faith in mirroring. Don't let this person fool you into thinking that they changed. What else is coming up for cancer? A lot of family concerns, family issues. I feel like there might be important information revealed. With Eagle, Death, and Spring, I feel um, some of you guys could be realizing that there might be people within your inner circle that don't have your best interests at heart. And I feel like you're finding that out now with spring being there. So we're in spring right now. For some of you, your family might try to intervene. Take the how it resonates. They might intervene thinking something's wrong with you and it's not that. You're just realizing people around you ain't shit. Um, that's for some of you. Cancer, let's see. Clarify family concerns and important conversation. Mm. 
Yeah, communication. It's it's family related. It's family related. Something something that has been kind of lingering with the magician being there. Something that's been in the works of happening. A lot of truth is coming out in a family situation. It doesn't look horrible though. It doesn't look horrible. I feel like you're just realizing some stuff. I can't even pick up these cards. Come on. Don't fight with me now. We've been doing good all morning. What else is coming up for cancer? Autumn, dark night of the soul, winter, hot and cold. So I feel like this year is going to be kind of like an emotional roller coaster in some aspects. Definitely. I want to clarify hot and cold, and I want to know if that's you or something coming towards you, someone coming towards you. That might be someone coming towards you. I feel like it's somebody from your past trying to kind of reel you in. So you could have been going through something with the dark night of the soul. It could be you're, you're about to break up with somebody or you're about to realize that there are things that you've been missing. With this energy, you could be coming out or coming up on a dark night of the soul, to be honest. And it's like this person is going to try to try to mess with you whoever they are. Dark Knight of the Soul. Let me clarify that. Once you go through this, once you go through this, there's a lot of happiness and confidence coming out at the end of your Dark Knight of the Soul and possibly even finding your match. Now, a past person is going to come in because you're going to be looking good and they're going to want to get you back, but you're attracting someone way better for you. So make sure you don't give in to anyone from your past who's not matching your, your new energy when you, when you do go through this. Some of you are already going through this now. So a lot of changes in your love life, definitely a lot of changes in your love life. These cards are so slippery. Okay. What do we have for cancer? You're stepping into your power. Like I said, this is the energy of the Empress. Look at that. Queen rising. So basically, this is the energy you're going to be in once you get out of the dark night of the soul, which is a very deep, depressed kind of state. Um, and that sucks. I've, I've been through it. Wolf in sheep's clothing, stalker. It's like there's going to be someone who's going to try to get you back because you're doing better. So be careful with that energy. Head in the clouds is like this person only wants you because you're doing better. It's because you're doing better that this person is going to, you know, be careful with this person. You're trash. Stalking ass. Ugh. What else is coming up for cancer?
I'm telling you, some of you guys are already going through this dark night of the soul or you're going to. This person could be somebody you live with. I get living room, false person, a long road and high honors. So this is you getting over something. This is literally like a long road to me. It's like a dark night of the soul. It's uh, you getting praise and recognition after that. So it praise and recognition. I feel like that is you realizing the people that are false in your life. Um, there's going to be a lot of hurt. You're going to be very hurt to find out some of these people who they are. With the living room being there, they're people who, if they're not in your family, they're close like family. They're people in your home. It could be people that you see as welcoming in your home. And what I mean by that is like, I know a lot of people, but not a lot of people are inv invited to my place like that. Like you're, you're going to be hurt over it, but you triumph at the end. I hope that makes sense for you. Good luck with that dark night of the soul energy. That sucks. Remember, you'll be better off at the end. That's cancer. Let's go to Leo. What do we have coming up for Leo? Not for Leo. Inner healing, meaningful coincidences, new friendship, karmic lesson. Feel like you could have. Uh, you're in a place where you're kind of watching your inner circle. Um, you're paying attention to red flags. A lot more coming up. New friendship and karmic lesson is kind of telling me you might start meeting new people. Um, make sure that you're keeping your circle clean with people who um, have good intentions for you. With karmic lesson attached and new friendships, you could be attracting the same kind of friends you've been attracting, the ones that might not stick around. Um, so there is an energy of meeting new friends, getting rid of old friends. Anything else? What else for Leo? Destined, temptation, fear, and anxiety, and ego death. I feel like you're being tested by the universe. They keep on sending the same type of person to you to see if you're going to... To see if you're going to realize that you deserve better with these cards. Destined and temptation, it's like you're being tested. You're being tested. Fear and anxiety and ego death might mean that some, some of you and not all of you reels have that fear of being left, like a fear of abandonment. And it's like you might jump into situations that are not very healthy, feeling that you might not get another chance at love or maybe this is it. Uh-uh. Ego death. That's your ego talking. Your soul hasn't found a match yet. If you're single, it needs to let go of the ego, which is telling you that you can't do it. And you can. So make sure to, if there's temptation that comes up for you, don't give into it thinking that that might be it if you know it's not it. If you know that this person's not for you coming in because I'm seeing you being tested. I'm seeing you being tested. So... What else for Leo?
You get twin flame, healing old wounds, important conversations, slow and steady. You could meet someone with the twin flame card that feels to me like it's someone that is really a good match with you. Um, but it's time to kind of grow up with this connection. It's, it's not to be treated the way that you've treated past connections. This one has to come with some maturity, healing old wounds, some actual communication, and it needs to go slow. So if you're the type of person that jumps into relationships head first real quick, spirit is asking you to take a step back. Spirit is asking you to take a step back with twin flame and slow and steady is it's let, let things go with a flow, uh, a nice smooth flow, not a rush. What else do we have for Leo? Let me get a message for Leo. An offer, blocked, spiritual hater, and player. Some of you guys might be very spiritual or into like, well, obviously you're watching tarot. So there's a, a spiritual aspect to you. Um, there could be someone in your life who, with player and blocked, it could be somebody you are on the in and outs with. And who doesn't really agree with this kind of spirituality. And they're still going to come for you. Like I said, that's that temptation. It's like you know who this person is. And you're supposed to step away from temptation. Because that's an offer coming from a, an energy that sucks. This energy that's going to give you an offer. They're trash. It's probably somebody you're not talking to already. Spiritual hater and player being there, I wouldn't trust this offer. I don't care how pretty that martini glass is. I wouldn't go with it. So if you already have someone block someone in mind that might come back and try to reach out, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. If you got them blocked, keep them blocked. What's going on for Leo with the Kipper? a lot of women here showing up in your spread leo could have some court matters coming up revolving women i don't know what that means necessarily hmm. let me clarify the court What is that? Mm, okay. Some of you guys could be stepping into a, a better role financially. That might attract better people in your life, but still there's a level here of having discernment. I feel like you're going to be stepping into your power. Some of you guys, um, if you're starting your own business, I see after maybe some legal troubles or a little bit of a, a little bit of a hurdle, you're going to get past it with this energy. Definitely things going in your favor. You're either going to receive some money. Maybe you're receiving money from work. If you're waiting for something like that, I feel like you're going to get it. So this is really good energy, to be honest. Let me clarify sad news. I want to know why that is there. It can be finding out of a cheater with that three of cups.
Yeah, it could be somebody that you may have been in a long-term relationship with or have a long-term family relationship with. And I see you holding back. There you are, Leo. Um, I kind of see you holding back from this person with the Ten of Pentacles. It could be somebody who you have had a long term with. Some of you guys could be going through a divorce. Some of you guys could be separating from a marriage, going through a divorce. And that's, that looks to be working out in your favor also. That's what we have for you, Leo. Let's go to Virgo. Well, that card says busy and distracted. So what's coming up for Virgo? Virgo, you might have someone coming into your life towards the end of the year. I get a lot of good things working in your favor, twin flame and new love. So that is somebody coming into your life who is more on your frequency with new love being there. If you have someone in mind, it ain't them. It isn't that person that you are thinking of. I am getting it is a new love, not that person on your mind. So that's coming in this winter for you. That is great. A very deep connection coming for you towards the end of the year. Why am I shuffling like that again? I don't want to do that. Okay. What else is coming in for Virgo? That was very clear and forward. Heartbreak, signs from nature, epiphany, divine masculine. you are attracting a twin flame and when i say twin flame like this that's also a soulmate card so that just means that that's someone who's on your frequency someone who wants what you want and things like that you could be dealing with someone right now who is not a divine masculine even though that card is coming out and i feel like you could be dealing with somebody who you're very attracted to but heartbreak signs from nature it's kind of like you might be ignoring red flags and whatever this might be and it's going to hit you one day it's going to hit you one day like wake up signs from nature an epiphany with heartbreak wake up it's not what you think it is this could be a divine feminine too if you're a male take it how it resonates what else is coming in for virgo so out with the old, in with the new, pretty much. What else for Virgo? All right, Virgo, you're going to have a very interesting year. Sorry. I just saw something. Freaked me out a little bit. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it don't matter. If it freaked me out for a second, and now I'm good, so whatever that was can go. Anyways, codependent, closure, energy cleanse, dark night of the soul. If you're not currently going through this, it's kind of showing up that you might. Codependent and closure, energy cleanse, and dark night of the soul might be um, if you're in a bad connection, and bad connection, I mean, if you're not in a healthy relationship with someone, if you're with someone who's in and out of your life, if you're with somebody who only comes around when they're bored, or you're only with someone because you're bored, I feel like all that's going to come to a head. And that energy is going to clear out before you meet that twin flame. It has to. 
If you want things to work out with that twin flame, that codependent shit got to go out the door. You cannot feel or, or want to settle for less than what you deserve because you think other people have potential. I mean, that's what codependent is. It's thinking that other people, um, other people will provide you happiness and they won't. So somebody could be thinking about you that way, or you could be thinking about someone that way. You do not need anyone else to be happy with this energy. Codependent closure. Don't stick around with someone just because you're bored. Don't do it. Let that finish out. Clean your energy. Dark night of the soul is going to come. That sucks. That's pretty depressing, but that's okay because once you exit that period, you really know what you're worth. So these are really good cards. It's just going to be a little difficult for you, Virgo. This right here kind of hurts my heart because I went through that and it sucks. So, but I promise you it is, it is a good thing to get rid of people in your life who are only there because of how bored you are. And once you realize how valuable your time is, you know, you ain't going to want to be with these people who are just uh, seat fillers anyways. So what else for Virgo? wants you back they lost their chance or you did dirt digging looking for dirt on you or vice versa an inside scoop a closer look nosy up in your business so this basically tells me that somebody's going to be stalking your social media or something along those lines trying to figure out what you're doing and that's when you pull away you're going to pull away from someone i feel like you're going to either give them an ultimatum with they, they lost their chance it's going to be like i'm right here I was here, wants you back. Somebody's going to want you back. They're going to be looking you up, wanting you back. Clarify, wants you back. Who the hell is that? <laughs> As these cards fall out. It's someone that you tried to make things work with. But it was like only you were trying. There's a lot of potential that was there. And this person's inaction kind of made you feel like you were left hanging. So that's the person who's going to want you back. Somebody who kind of left you hanging. Didn't really take action towards you. Even though you saw potential. And it was difficult to get to, to that potential. You did see it with the six of wands being here. You did see it, but there was nothing else moving towards it except for the view of potential. So that's the person who wants you back. I wish I had a deck called Kick Rocks because I would pull some cards from that. So that is your messages, Virgo. Let's go to Libra. Okay, Libra, predictions for you. Coming up for Libra. Listen to your intuition, family concerns, runner, end of a cycle. I feel like uh, there might be some family issues that pop up. Listen to your intuition is saying that there's going to be some red flags. There's going to be some things that you know better with family concerns and listen to your intuition. Make sure that you're, you're doing what's best for you in this situation. I don't trust it. 
listen to your intuition shouldn't be there with family concerns. That's only if you might have shady family. It, it might be if you have people who don't have your best interests at heart. You're going to want to look at those red flags. Runner in the end of a cycle. I kind of see you running away from these issues. Try not to let it affect you. So I'm seeing family issues come up and you try not to let it affect you. And you kind of just creating distance. That's what I see for you, Libra. With Runner, I don't see you dealing with the issues. I see you running from the issues. I feel like that might be your only option if you feel like you are not being listened to. It just is what it is. Sometimes you're not. And you get these cards, which were like almost identical to um, Virgo. feel like you're going to meet someone new, but with inner strength, it's going to take a lot to get to a good place with this person. I want to clarify counsel and therapy. I feel like that's just saying that there's a lot of shadow aspects you have to kind of look at within yourself this year. Got to kind of realize the connection that you were in or that you're currently in that makes you very unhappy and really self-evaluate why you're there. I'm seeing new love coming in for you, Libra. For counsel and therapy, I kind of feel like you could be going through something with someone who... It, it could be someone in your home who keeps a lot of secrets, um, who's very defensive. There could be that type of person in this dynamic. Be that type of person in a dynamic where you need to kind of figure stuff out. Also, I feel there's a lot of things you may need to work through in terms of your boundaries following your intuition, keeping a safe space within your home to keep you in a good mental place for this new love that's coming in. Make sure you have your boundaries up. And by boundaries, I don't mean you build a wall. I mean, I'm going to open up to you. You know what? I do want to see where this goes. But a boundary is something like, um, I'm going to see where this goes. and that's it. Me and you go out to dinner and at the, at the dinner table, I see you snap off on the waiter. That to me is a huge red flag. Huge. I would not ignore that red flag. Your behavior towards somebody in public, you will talk to me like that at some point. So that's a red flag. And a boundary is something along the lines of, if I tell you, I don't like to be touched, like hugged or anything when I don't know you, then don't do it yet. You know, that type of thing. Don't let someone put their arm around you. It, it, there's, it's, I'm not saying you got to be that picky, but I'm just trying to give you a small, a small example of what that means when you place boundaries for yourself. It's not against other people. It just, it lets you see red flags bigger. You know, it, it lets you see them more magnified when you place boundaries. You can see where the other person, other person pushes back. So, I do two. I'm going to do one more. What else is coming in for Libra? Big success, epiphany, stuck, busy, and distracted. I see you doing really good with money. Now with Epiphany, you might get an idea to do something. I suggest you keep your business to yourself. Stuck, busy, and distracted. You might be really, 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 really busy coming up. Really busy. I see a lot of money coming in, which is good. But really busy. 
I do want to clarify the stuck card. Why is that here? You might feel like you're not getting ahead. That's probably where that's coming from, but I see with the energy around you, you are. To make sure that microphone is still on. You might be in communications with someone still. Who is keeping you stuck? This is a toxic person. There might be a child involved. I feel like this person constantly digs at you with this energy. They could be very immature, younger than you, but it's something that you feel stuck to and bound to. And you're not because for the stuck energy, you got the double. That's basically the same thing. It's almost like you're getting too comfortable being in pain. So don't let that be your normal. Whoever this is that you feel stuck to, get them out of your life. You're not stuck. You're not stuck. That's a feeling. That's not the truth. You are not stuck. Okay, Libra. What else is coming up for you? And you get confused, reflecting, stalker, and fed up. You could be dealing with somebody who is constantly gaslighting you. So make sure you're not letting someone from your past stay in your energy with this energy. Stay in your energy with this energy. Um, fed up, I feel like you'll eventually get enough of it, to be honest with you. But this is what's going to be happening. Somebody's really going to be getting on your nerves. Pretty much. It's a lot of soul searching with this energy. I see that coming up for you, Libra. What else is coming up for Libra? You get expectation, grief and sorrow, a long road and success in love. You're like, success in love is not going to come right now. With the long road being there, I feel like you'll meet someone and that's going to be good for you after a period of healing. Expectation, grief and sorrow, long road. You might be tied to a situation where you're just expecting things to get better and they're not. And I feel like if this is you and you've been tied to a situation where you're expecting things to work out and grief and sorrow is there, it's like you've been waiting for a while for things to change and they have not. A long road is showing a lot of healing needed on your side and then success and love. Then love comes in. So if you are waiting on a love situation to shift just because you think it's going to shift, I don't see that happening. One of the biggest causes of being sad is expectation. And I don't want you to think I mean that if you expect something um, to stop expecting it and then you won't, not, not in that depressed way, you know, if you don't expect nothing, you can never be let down because you don't expect nothing. That sounds sad, but it's not really what it is. Expectations is something that we put on other people because of the type of person we are. So I'm seeing someone here who wants a loving relationship and expects the other person to want the same with them. 
you can have that expectation. Just because you want a loving relationship doesn't mean the person attached to you wants that. They could say they want it, but if they're not showing you that they want it, it's time to let that expectation go. I do see success and love for you. It might be after a period of solitude, healing, even distance here with a long road that could also be moving. So that's what's going on for you, Libra. Let's go to Scorpio. What's coming in for Scorpio? What's going on for Scorpio? Oh, I got to put another incense because this one is finishing. Hold on, Scorpio. I'll be there in a second. Be there in a second. Oh, come on. Don't give me issues, please. <laughs> and it is going to give me issues. That's okay. There we go. Uh, I like to keep my incense running as much as I can during my readings. It helps me gather myself. So let's start again. All right, Scorpio, this is your turn. What's coming in for Scorpio? Take control, union, closure, good luck. I feel like you could be exiting a relationship with the union there. It could have been a long-term relationship, what you don't see coming. And it could be happening this summer. Take control is saying that take control over your own life. I feel like if, if you're in a situation where you're kind of waiting on the other person to show up, this is saying, uh, no, stop waiting on somebody else to do what you need to do. Take control over, over your own life and stop waiting for somebody else to come in and work something out with you. This could be the ending of a relationship with these cards. I got to be honest. Good luck means that this is, there's better for you in the future once you close the cycle out with whoever this is. It's somebody who makes you feel like you need their cooperation to do something. So I feel like if, if, that's not somebody you're married to and it's somebody you want to be married to, you know, like long term like that. I feel like you're kind of left out. Where are they in the relationship? Why am I the one doing stuff? Take control of saying, yeah, take control of that. As in you are the one doing stuff. You're the one waiting. Stop waiting. Take control over your own life. Okay. I say that with love. I sound like I'm yelling, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I say that with love. I see so many good people and so many shitty situations and it sucks and it does aggravate me. It does. So sorry, I don't mean to seem a certain way. What else does Scorpio have coming up? You might be getting a lot of messages from spirit to me means that you're going to see a lot of synchronicities, a lot of numbers, hot and cold, healing old wounds, chaser. This could be your energy. I feel like you might be coming up in a period of time where you might not know what you want necessarily. Um, I feel like... With healing old wounds being here, there's a lot of things that need to be healed within you. Within you. 
Let me clarify the chaser card. If you're the one chasing someone now, I feel like that's going to change and they're going to chase you. Yeah, it's like someone is going to start trying to pursue you and it could be somebody you've been pursuing and it's going to kind of flip a script and they're going to try to come back around to pursue you with something that already ended, but they're still not choosing you. So that's super narcissistic to chase you and then not really want to be with you. So be careful with somebody from your past coming back to try to be with you again, just to do the same thing again. I feel like this is the message for almost all the signs, getting very similar, similar things. Well, you know what? Let me do one more for you. Anything else for Scorpio? What was that? Inner child healing. Inner child healing. That tells me to get, you need to get out of the house. You need to go have some fun. Scorpio, stop being locked up in your house. Very similar cards to what other people are, are pulling. And then you get karmic partner at the bottom. So what this is telling me is that For you to stand up for yourself, you could be dealing with someone who you're just realizing is not for you. Speak your truth to stand up for yourself. You're seeing a lot of red flags and it's time to start voicing them. You could have been the type of person to give people chances to think that they're doing better. And this is saying, no, nope. you see the red flag, point it out. That's what's coming up for you, Scorpio. You're going to be seeing red flags with people around you. Don't ignore them. Coming up for Scorpio. Plout hungry. Player. Love triangle. And haunted. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a narcissist. Could have been in a love triangle. This person could have put you in one and then talk shit and talk shit about you. And with player, love triangle, clout hungry, this person is it. <laughs> this person is trash. Memories, flash, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. This is you. I feel like you're dealing or you've dealt with somebody who is a piece of crap with this energy here. And it's like, you're the one haunted by it. I'm, I'm pretty sure this, if I had anything to say about this, it's kind of like, this is a narcissist and this is PTSD from it. Um, take the how it resonates. Oh, that's so tough to look at. This situation could really affect your mental health don't let it people like this exist all over the place start paying attention to those red flags you'll see them and you won't even entertain this stuff anymore if you're dealing with someone like that let them go they ain't shit and it's hard to let people go but it's only hard because you say it's hard it's only hard because you say it's hard What's coming up for Scorpio? Expectation, success and love, small child, sad news. So you guys could be expecting 
some good things in your love life. Um, however, if you're not looking to have kids, strap it up, lock it down. I don't know. Some of you guys could get pregnant or you could hear of a pregnancy and it's not a good thing for you. So take the heart resonates. And that is Scorpio. Let's go to Sagittarius. What's coming up for Sagittarius? Had to make sure the mic is still on. <laughs> Runner, epiphany, speak your truth and apology. You could be involved in a connection that with runner and epiphany, it could scare you. It can. It could be very powerful. Speak your truth and apology. I feel like it's gonna, it might, it might trigger you. <laughs> you might come into a connection that may make, it, it may knock your socks off with this. And it's like you might run from it and then return. That's only some of you. For others of you, I feel like you have somebody coming back into your life trying to apologize after maybe seeing you in a different light with these cards. So take that how it resonates. What else for Sagittarius? I feel okay in autumn. So I feel like autumn is a good time frame, August through maybe even December. There's going to be a lot of things in your life that need handled. Excuse me. <clears throat> I feel the type of person who bottles up your emotions don't see that being a good idea. I do not see that being a good idea. I do see inner healing coming out. I see you making different decisions. I feel like your life is about to drastically change this autumn. Let's clarify um, life-changing decision. It's about... Whoa, okay, you're going to meet your match. Whoa, Sagittarius. Okay, I'm seeing you meet someone. It could be through friends. It could be something like that. I don't see that you and this person are in each other's viewpoint at the moment. I feel like both of you are focused on your finances at the, at the moment, maybe your own businesses, but you do have a match coming in. There is a match coming in. For others of you, this could be a breakup. I don't feel like it is for everybody, but I see new love coming in for you, Sagittarius. It, it could be a match. I see a lot of celebrations here with that. And for some of you, this is your decision to detach from someone who you wanted things to work out in, you wanted things to work out with, and they could have put you in a third party. Kind of feel like this is more along the you're gonna find someone this year who is potential like your match. I'm gonna shuffle them like this one more time. All right, what else for Sagittarius?
eagle death and good luck dark night of the soul energy spiritual awakening hot and cold see that's all dark night of the soul energy to be honest with you ego death good luck spiritual awakening hot and cold you're like you are going to be going through something you're going to be having good luck you're going to be having good things coming towards you but ego death you're not going to feel like you're having good luck you're not going to feel that way there is a image that you're trying to uphold to people saying that you're good and you're not you're not good right now and that's okay to not be good a spiritual awakening to me to be honest with you it feels more like a mental breakdown because what it does is it it kind of shows you that the way you thought the world was around you really isn't around you it's not like that and when you realize the true intentions and and things with people around you that starts to deteriorate it comes in with some depression but i got to be honest with you to be able to see everyone around you for the truth that depression goes away and then there's a gratitude that comes with being able to see people at their purest intentions so this is a good thing but it's not gonna feel good it's gonna suck so be prepared for that good 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 things are coming to you with it this is gonna work for your benefit hot and cold it's it hot and cold what is that kind of feels like you might pull yourself out of it by trying to do your regular routines but you're not going to be able to hot and cold that is very accurate with hot and cold this is cold this is hot and it's not that hot there's more cold than hot but um it's kind of like you not being motion emotionally available yet communicating affectionately to people so be careful with that energy that you're not putting off a, i just want to mess around but i'm not really going to emotionally be here type vibe because i see you waiting for I see you waiting for something passionate and I don't see you getting it with the King of Swords energy. That's not a passionate energy. You don't give passion. You're not going to get passion. You might be giving passion and not emotion. Um, expecting to maybe get emotion. I don't know. Take that how it resonates. But there is something here about not really knowing what it is that you want. Not knowing if you want something emotional or not. You kind of like wishy-washy with this so you don't really take action so that's what i get for you sagittarius that's what's coming up let's go to the what's the tea deck for you get some cards for sagittarius what's coming up Photo proof, getting evidence, curious about you, cock blocking, and obsessive lover. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, karmic. So you could have somebody from your past trying to look you up on social media, see what you're going through, maybe even hit up your new person and start drama. And that's what I'm getting. You could be involved with a karmic partner, which is basically somebody who doesn't align with your highest good, somebody who keeps you from your purpose. That's the way I want to go ahead and that's how I define it. I'm sure that there's a real definition for it, but that's my definition. Um, a lot of social media stalking and maybe blocking you, but I don't see any real effort being given towards you. This person is just obsessed. They only come around when they see you getting away. 
and I see that person coming around. So don't let this person back in your energy unless you want to be confused some more. What's coming up for Sagittarius? Sad news. High honors. Ooh. A meeting. The thievery. I do see a period of, you know, your energy being low, even though you might try to, on the outside, show that you're doing good, you're, you're happy, you're celebrating, you're this, you're that. There's an underlining sadness there, Sagittarius. Um, maybe not being content with something. A meeting and thievery. Let's clarify the thievery. Just a seven of swords, you could be... This could be that past person that keeps popping up. Trying to steal your joy with the thievery. Clarify meeting and thievery. Okay, so... There's someone popping up specifically that you have a lot of emotions for that keeps on kind of dipping out of the relationship. It's like they can't give to it what it's needed. And you're kind of sitting there. I don't want to say waiting because you're not waiting. It's kind of like you have all this love to offer. You're not necessarily waiting for this person but you want this person. So it's difficult for you because they're not putting in the effort you're putting in. This person is going to try to get back in your good graces when you're doing good. So if you're not doing good right now financially or you're not doing good right now, um, emotionally, I see this person's not really around. It's when you start doing better for yourself that this person comes back in the mix. Also, be careful with your finances. I feel like you could have people around you trying to take advantage of you. There is a little loss of money here for you. So take that how it resonates. And that was Sagittarius. Let's go to Capricorn. What's coming up for Capricorn? Okay, Capricorn, what's up? You get open up. <laughs> My gosh. The lengths that card went through to get out of this deck. Unexpected message. Apology. Dazed and confused. Let's see, Days and Confused. What are you Days and Confused about? Or is it somebody else? Open Up is telling me that you're probably spending a lot of time at home. I see you getting out more in the summer. Mm. Okay. This is someone coming back around to you to try to restart something with you. I feel like this could have already ended. The judgment and death card being there, it's like this relationship ended and 
they see you as all they ever wanted, even though they had you before. And that's the energy I'm getting. A lot of confusion with their apology, probably. Days and confused is like, what are their motives here? What are the motives here? Why are you coming back? This is over. Why are you here? Why? Well, what is this? What is this for? You know what I mean? That's how I feel. So question, definitely question anyone coming towards you, trying to apologize or rec reconcile with you. Um, I feel like it's only because they see you doing good. They see you being out of your shell and they don't know how to feel about it. So that's coming up. What else is coming up for Capricorn? Well, you get union and separation along with energy cleanse and codependent. So I feel like for some of you who are going through a separation, it might be back and forth. That's not for everyone. Let me clarify um, union. Who is that? Ah, you're going to be having a choice coming up. I feel like you're going to have a few people interested in you. You got the two of pentacles and the three of cups right there. Also, be careful of people coming towards you because you're successful. And I feel like you're going to have a lot more options in love coming up if you haven't had any uh, recent. I feel like people are going to be coming towards you because they see your light and they see you're happy and they want some of that happiness. They want some of that attention. So be careful with that codependent energy. It's because you're doing good. Make sure with energy cleanse, you're keeping negative people at bay. Um, that's what I'm getting for you, which is not, it's not bad. It's not bad. What else for Capricorn? Whoa. <laughs> Slow and steady. That can also be family trying to, you know, weasel their way in to get like good things from you because you're going to be doing good. You could be the divine feminine or with a divine or um, attracting a divine feminine. Take that how it resonates. But I do see a divine connection coming in and it being slow. With hidden emotions, I don't feel like there's a lot of opening up at first because it's going to be intense. I see you kind of pulling your energy back and being in a receiving mode. I don't see you chasing anyone. I see you kind of sitting there and waiting for people to come to you. And you're being very cautious. So that's, that's great. What is coming up for Capricorn? Legal issues, caught a case, sexual infection, incarcerated, and moves in silence. I feel like this is just giving me the energy of people around you being envious of you. It's not really giving me a specific person trying to bring you drama like this. Not to say you don't have a person who could bring you this kind of drama, you probably can. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with somebody who's super fucking shady, who brings you 
who's cheating on you to the point where you can catch a, a disease. So be careful with that energy, definitely. For others of you, I feel like this is just people plotting against you. I do. I feel like it's people trying to wish bad on you. I really don't feel like this energy is something that you're going to be in. I feel it coming towards you as in other people. Now, legal issues, make sure that you're getting anything legal looked at. So if you're doing any purchasing, any contract signing, make sure you have your shit together there. Get a lawyer. Get a lawyer with that. Get a lawyer to revise your whatever you got going on. What's coming up for Capricorn? Okay, well, you get a rich girl. You could be a guy. You could be attracting a rich girl or you, you could be a rich guy. Um, and that's for you. You don't have to be a woman with this card. But that just means finances. Some of you guys, I, I see you um, maybe conceiving a child this year. So if, if children is something that you've always wanted, I see that opportunity coming for you. Not yet. It's coming. But it's definitely showing up this year. It's kind of like you, this is something that you want also. This Capricorn that I'm channeling wants a small child. So that might not resonate for everybody. So I'm going to say that definitely a possibility for that whoa and i see a king of cups coming into your life too all right that is capricorn let's go to aquarius what does aquarius have coming towards them What's coming towards aquarius predictions for aquarius going to be seeing signs and synchronicities, a lot of numbers, busy and distracted and end of a cycle. I feel like you may have been um, in a cycle that seemed slow, like no movements, like dragging. Um, I kind of feel like you're in a place now where you're more confident with yourself. You're going to be this year really standing up for yourself. End of a cycle shows me that it's like the end of a period of solitude. Um, and I feel you being really, really, really busy this year. Really busy this year. However, don't let people step all over you with this busy um, card being here. Um, for some of you who are busy at work, make sure you're not being taken advantage of with this energy. Like you're a good worker, you're going above and beyond and people are seeing that and they might be taking advantage of you. So go ahead and make sure that you stand up for yourself with that energy there. Could be in your love life too. Doesn't have to be career. Okay. I'm going to take them. Some of you have a deep love coming back into your life. I feel like uh, this could be somebody who you wanted to be with uh, or somebody who you were with for a long time. There's like a long connection coming back back in and I say back in because it says past life relationship it doesn't have to be past life it could just be recent past and I see like a lot of like you're going to know this person's back in your energy whoever they are let me clarify past life relationship and union let me get two cards for both
Wow. See that? Union. So this is someone from the past coming back around. Let me get some more cards. I feel like this could be somebody from the past who you've tried to make things work with and it just hasn't. It's something you have a lot of love for, but it doesn't really get you anywhere. Um, you could be grieving um, a relationship. So maybe losing hope is what that feels like. Losing hope within some relationship you want to come back together. I don't really see that happening. Um, you could have some you could have some communication with them, but it's like the red flags are there and, and, and you keep on getting nudged. There's inner child healing with that. Stop ignoring the red flags. The fact that you're ignoring red flags from this person means that you need inner child healing. You do. That's what that means, Aquarius. Do not ignore red flags with this, with this person coming back in from the past. You're, you'll be stuck being the only one working on it again. What else for Aquarius? Yeah, I feel like their man, spiritual awakening is coming out for so many signs. It's ridiculous. I do feel like this is a spiritual awakening type of thing coming towards you. Um, you are protected at this time. But I feel like you might be going through a period of a lot of uh, uncertainty, not really knowing what lies ahead and being worried about it with this energy. And you need to have more faith. That fear isn't going to bring you anything but bad. It's going to manifest in a way that you're going to bring people towards you who are going to activate that fear instead of, instead of minimize it. Make sure you're watching your thoughts on that. Do not let yourself get into a depressed place going through this. You are protected. See, hold back your energy. There's a lot of, there's a lot of manifesting um, energy surrounding you at this time. That's probably why it's saying to hold back. You're very strong when it comes to manifesting, believe it or not. Now, if you're, if you're in a place where you really want something to work out with someone who treated you like shit, that's not for everybody. But if you're in a place where you really want something like that to work out, this is saying, why? Why do you want that to work out? It brings out the worst in you. It brings out your your insecurities it brings out your fear your anxiety and you're more protected than you think and you can actually get through this so there is a holding back on your manifesting because you might be manifesting out of this you're going to bring people around who will do that to you they're going to let you down they're going to let you down so don't try not to work something out with someone who is just here for a good time and not a long time what's going on with Aquarius Aquarius let me check this mic wow it's still on what how did my mic die the other day I didn't have it on this long Fishing for comments, her ego, acting cold and fake smiles. You could be dealing with somebody who hmm. 
And this could be you. You could be looking someone up and trying to act like you're over it when you're not, or vice versa. This other person could be looking you up and trying to act like they're over it, but they're not. Her ego means that somebody here just might want something to work out for to boost themselves, their confidence, not really for the health of the relationship. So be careful with people like that. Coming in, being wishy-washy. Um, yeah. You're being warned about that energy, definitely. What's coming up for Aquarius? Unexpected money, success and love, hope water and expectation. I do see a lot of good things coming to you this, this year. Some of you guys are going to get unexpected money. That doesn't have to be like winning the lottery or something like that. It could be extra hours at work. It could be, it could be, you know, I don't know getting getting an extra check from your taxes i don't know it's just unexpected it's unexpected definitely a lot of good things coming towards you this year i do want to clarify this whole big water this is showing me that your thoughts might be a little more negative than positive. Like you're a good person. I'm getting, I'm picking up that you're, that you're a really good person. You portray positive vibes to people. It's like, I really am a upbeat person, but when it comes to yourself, it's like a depressing, almost like you don't know when things are going to happen for you. So you're sad. And to be honest with you, you're going to get a lot of success you got to get rid of this mindset. You got to get rid of this mindset. You're going to be just as successful as anyone else. Just as successful as anyone else. When it comes to love life, at least. And money. With that unexpected money there. Yeah, don't be too hard on yourself. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? I'm getting this for everyone. That union card keeps popping out. Let me see something. Some of you guys could be going through a separation or a breakup. Clarify union. See, this is great. Some of you are going through a breakup and you're going to go into a better relationship. Others of you, it's like you're already meeting this person and things are going to work slow. With the justice card, it, it is someone, it could be a Libra. It is someone who um, is right for you. I just see it starting slow. Now, ego death being attached to that, it's going to be someone who got you doing things you never thought you'd do. I'll tell you that right now. It's going to be making you look at love different. This is a really good thing for you. Really good thing for you. Let's see what else? What else? Pisces. What else for Pisces?
Busy and Distracted, Karmic Lesson, Speak Your Truth, Spring. You could be going through something right now where you're really, really busy and might be ignoring some issues around your love life or even around family life, and you're just keeping yourself busy. I mean, Karmic Lesson is saying don't ignore what's going on in your circle because you're busy. There's things you need to address. Definitely things that need to be addressed. I hope that resonates. What else for Pisces? You might have a ex trying to get back with you um saying heartbreak open up autumn karmic partner let's clarify open up it could be an apology coming in um in that case i'm kind of getting that for you to open up it might help you better in listening to this communication let's see open up It is something you end things, you know, it's, it's going to be an ex. There's going to be an ex trying to probably get back with you. I wouldn't trust this energy, to be honest. I don't see you really wanting to open up. That's probably why it's telling you to. I, I take that how it resonates, but I feel like you're in an energy where you're just doing what's best for you with the, with the nine of pentacles and the seven of swords. I also feel like your money is going to be doing really well. Karmic partner. This could be someone you work with or you met at school. And I feel like you could be going in cycles with the person, with this person, and it makes you feel kind of stuck. I get a stuck feeling from it. So I feel like this person might come around to give it another go ahead. And it's just going to be the same thing. So watch out for that. What else do we have coming for Pisces? Ooh. I'm getting drawn to just pull three for you. Facts, no facts, never has a facts, makes shit up and lies, player and last chances. I feel like you're going to walk away from someone who's playing some games with you. It could probably be running around truths and making it seem like, or running around lies, making it seem like the truth or just not being completely open and honest with you. So if you're in a relationship where you're not getting answers, I see that ending. What do we have going on for Pisces? Long road, marriage, small child, and the house. Okay, I feel like you're about to step into your lights, meet, maybe even meet someone who you can settle down with, but I don't feel like it's going to be anytime soon with the long road being there. I feel like it's going to be more of a, upwards to a year from now. I really don't feel like this might happen this year, where in other situations, I do feel that way. I think this is going to take a little more time. But definitely good things coming to you. And if you're not looking to get pregnant, you might want to wrap it up or lock it down. So those are the predictions. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did hit like, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I would appreciate it. See you next time. Bye.